Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zautus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Test Gorilla here for beginners. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be into HR and you might be looking for certain candidates that is right for the job. Now, we all know having the right person for the job can actually increase your productivity as well as increase the quality that your company actually gives out. In this case, Test Gorilla here actually gives you the capabilities of giving out tests to potential candidates and really see if they are, are actually right for the position that you are looking for. Now, the first thing we need to do here is we need to go to the official website for Test Gorilla, which is going to be testgorilla.com. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to see a few things here. So in this case, Test Gorilla here offers skill tests to hire the best for the actual job. So if you want to na navigate the actual website here, you can go ahead and do that and see the companies that are currently using uh, Test Gorilla here to look for potential candidates. But in this case, uh, there are going to be a lot of details here that you could read. So if you want to read them, you could go ahead. Now, we also have the pricing page here, which includes the details that you could basically uh, uh, see regarding how much it is. Now, in this case, we have USD, Euro, GBP, AUD, and INR. Now, in this case, if you want to uh, use it for free, you could use it for free. But the thing here is it's uh, there are going to be some restrictions. Like, for example, there are, it is only uh, has like five free tests and five custom questions only. But if you want to get the starter plan or the pro plan here, you will have the 400 plus tests in the test library. So this is especially helpful for people with larger companies that are really looking for to uh, basically hire a lot of people. Now, in this case, uh, what we need to do is we could actually try the product for free. Just click on try for free at itself right here. And you just need to provide all the necessary details here. Then in this case, you need to provide a work email. Now, a work email here is required for you to create your account. So they don't actually accept Gmail or Outlook. So you need to be part of a specific business that has their own email address. Now, in this case, if you try Gmail or Outlook here, they will not be able to create your account. But then again, you need to have a business email. But if you if you do have that, you can go ahead and enter your work email here and access your or create your account here. But in this case, once you've created your account and uh, you've uh, visited the homepage, what are the things that we could do there? So let's go ahead and visit the actual page. So currently, this is the main page for Test Gorilla. So in this case, the test gorilla here has three main tabs. We have the My Assessments and My Candidates and Tests section. Now the My Assessments here will contain the assessments that you have on your account. Like what we saw before, we are or we have the capabilities of creating five assessments on our account. Now, in this case, once you click one of the names or one of the assessments that you have right now, you should be able to see the further details about it. Like, for example, the candidates, uh, the people who took the tests, and some of the statistics that you need for you to determine which candidate is the best for the job. Now, in this case, uh, also in this section, you have the create new assessment, which in this case we'll be visiting later on. Now, in this case, the My Candidates section here will contain all the candidates that you have for your account or for uh, from your test. So the people that actually took a test will be uh, in this section here. Now, the great thing about the My Candidate section here is you have the capabilities of uh, basically filtering them out. For example, which assessment they took, which test, and which job role that you are looking for. Now. In this case, we also have the test section, which in this case, you should be able to see different tests that you could basically add to your assessment. So if you want to see them first, how long it's going to take and really plan what tests you want to add, uh, this is how you actually uh, view them. Now, you also have the paid version here, My Company Test, which again, it's a paid version, which in this case has more capabilities and the tests are going to be tailored to your company. Now. In this case, uh, we also have our profile or our uh, name at the top right, which includes when you hover over it or click on it, you have the My Profile, Notifications, My Company, Team Management, Plan and Billing, Integrations, Assessment Settings, Editor for and Earn. 
Now, in this case, my profile here will contain most of your information. Notifications will contain from the name itself, notification, your company details, your team that you have on your account, the plan that you're using on your account, some integrations here if you want to add up more functionalities into your account, and assessment settings and for an earn, which in this case is a way for you to earn more by referring to different people. So in this case, if you want to add, like, for example, if you, uh, other integrations, if you're looking for something, you could use the integration section. Now, in this case, going back to the My Assessment section, when you click on the Create New Assessment, it should redirect you to the Create New Assessment page, which English, in this case, you need to provide all the necessary details. Like, for example, the assessment general information, like the name of it, the language assessment, and the job role that will be for this assessment here. Also have the select test section, which in this case you need to select different tests that you want to include to your actual uh, assessment here. So in this case, uh, there are going to be a lot here. You could use the search uh, anything here section to look for different tests that you might want to add. Now, when you scroll down a bit here, you can go and click on the add button for you to add them, but not all the tests here are going to be available. And also you need to at least pick five tests for you to uh, basically add to your assessment here. Now, in the next section, you have the capabilities of adding your custom questions, which in this case, you could choose from their pre-built in or even ask your own if you want to, or even select which uh, type of questions like video, essay, multiple choice, or file upload if needed be, or even code. So this is for uh, like the web developers or any developer job roles. Now, finally, the review and configure section, which includes all the tests that you've included and all of the uh, questions that you've added for this specific uh, type of assessment. Now, in this case, we also have the section for uh, this one, which in this case, once you've filled out all the necessary details here and all the required details, you should be able to see the general information regarding your account here, which in this case, you should be able to uh, basically see the title of the actual assessment, how many tests, how long it might take, so just an estimate here, the language and the deadline for it as well if you set any. Now, if you want to view or test your assessment first, you can go and click on the eye icon and see how it actually looks like. Now, you also have the invite button, which in this case, you can invite different people to take the actual assessment for you to actually see if they are actually fit for that job role. Now, in this case, uh, by the way, if you click one of the assessments here, you could basically uh, try doing the assessment for, uh, yourself first just to see if it actually works or even uh, test it. Uh, yourself. So yeah, so the great thing about Test Guerrilla here is you have the freedom to create your own assessments and again, they have a free account here for you to try. But yeah, so those are the basics for Test Guerrilla and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.